In this section, I want to talk about BGP communities, how you can set them and how you can use them. BGP communities are some kind of routing mark. But routing mark and microtech is a local to the router that you set that. But BGP communities uh, are attributes. They are attributes of the BGP prefixes that you know that they are advertised to other routers, either in the same domain or other domain. So let's go to, for example, router one and create a kind of community and see the result of that community. If I go to router one, for example, I can add, let me go to interfaces and I want to add a loopback interface using bridge here and this is going to be loopback for example 11 click on OK and add this now I want to assign an IP address to this so the address is going to be for example 11 11 11 101 slash 24 and this is loopback 11's IP address so I click on apply and click on OK you can see that now I have this loopback interface but I'm not going to add this to OSPF routing protocol. I make sure that this is not under OSPF interfaces and you can see that it is not there. What I am going to do is to advertise this using BGP. So if I go to networks, I can click on plus and add 11 11 11 0 slash 24. This way I have this on my advertisement. As you can see, this is here. It is advertised to router 2. It is advertised to router 3 and it is advertised to router 4. Now router 4 and router 3 are neighbors of ASP1 that is in AS100. So if I go to ASP1, I can go and see that 11.11.11 is here and I am advertising this to ISP2. Okay? Now what I am going to do is this. Suppose that I want this prefix to be local to AS65000. I don't want any router to send it to other ISPs, send it to other ASs. How can I do this? I go to router 1 and create a routing filter. If I go to routing filter, I can click on this plus sign and this routing filter's name is going to be, for example, BGP community or community or anything else. I prefer to have as community as its name. Now, what I am going to do is to add this community to just one prefix. If you want to add a community to all prefixes, you can leave this alone. But here I am going to have this for prefix 11, 11, 11, 0, slash 24. And what I am going to do is this. In actions, I want to select accept, pass through will do. So I go to BGP Actions and you can see Set BGP Communities as one of the options. Now if I click here, you can see that the community is a two-part number separated by a colon. I can add this community here, for example, 100 and 100 here, or whatever I want to add here, it doesn't matter. Or I can select one of the pre built communities here no export no advertise on local AS actually these communities have a number attached to them but because I don't want to remember these numbers I prefer to select the names instead of numbers and these have a specific use here so let's select one of these and after that I can go and set BGP communities and do something else with one of other my back interfaces on router one. I select no export. What does no export mean? It means do not advertise outside this AS. That means this is a local prefix to this AS. You should not advertise this to other ASs. So I click on apply and click on OK. Now I have a chain named add community. Now what I am going to do is to go to BGP peers, tell router to, as an output filter, I'm going to set this, tell router to do not export this, this, this prefix, click on OK. Tell router 3 do not export this community, this uh, prefix again. And to router 4, do not export this prefix. Click on OK and now 
and make sure that this is not going to be exported. Let's go to router 2 for example and check the communities here. If I do not see the communities in advertisement, you can see that on router 2 I do not receive anything. Let's go to peers and check this. You can see that with router 4 it is trying to open send. That's not a problem. What I am going to do is to go to router 4 and check to see the problem. If I go here, you can see that router 4 is not a neighbor with router 2. And of course, I didn't want to have this neighbor here. Okay. Now, I am neighbor with router 1 and I am not receiving this advertisement here. Let's go to uh, IP routes and C111.11. If I double click on that, now if I go to attributes, I can see that BGP community no export this here. So router 2 is not going to export this to other ASS. But router 2 actually does not have any uh, external BGP neighbor. Let's go to router 4. If I go to router 4, I can see that this is not in my advertisement to ISP1. Why? Because in IP routing, if I open 11.11.11, and let me find this here, you can see that it tells me there is a community set for this that is called no export. Now, if I go to router 3, the same thing happens here. You can see that in my advertisement, I do not see 11.11.11, and that's because I have a community of no export attached to this prefix open this and you can find it. This is the BGP community. So some communities have special meaning but other communities can be set and uh, used with other purposes. So let me show you something else here. I want to uh, go to router 1 again. So if I go to router 1 create another interface, the interface on their interfaces. Let me create a bridge interface and name it loopback12 and let me add an IP address to this. So if I go to it, let's just I can set 11 11 12 101 slash 24. This is going to be loopback12 and click on OK. Now again, I'm not advertising this into IGP. Actually, I am advertising this into BGP. If I go here, type 11.11.12.0 slash 24, I am adding to this to BGP database. Now if I double click on this, you can see that the only thing in here is the network name. Well, let's go to uh, BGP routing filters. Now what I'm going to do is to add community to this. So I can uh, click on this plus sign. I don't need to create any uh, new routing filter. Actually, I can select Add Community again. But this time, I am selecting prefix 11, uh, 11, 12, 0, slash 24. And what I am going to do for this prefix is to accept it. And go to BGP Action here. I want to add a community of 12, 12. Now this is a routing mark. It has no special meaning. It has nothing more than marking this route here. So I click on apply, click on OK, and you can see that add community has another entry here. Now add community has been uh, set on these routers, these peers, as output filter, so I do not need to attach this again. If I go to advertisement and click here, go to show detail, actually this is out of my capture area and click on communities, you can see that this route has been marked with community 1212. 12. Now if I go to ISP1, actually I am receiving this route with community 1212 12 here from router, uh, from router 4 and ISP2, actually I am uh, advertising these to router for um, ISP2, but I can do something here. I can, for example, select not to export this to router 4, or I can select to, for example, discard this from my routing table, or I can select to add a higher metric for that, or anything else. For example, 
whatever you want to do, you can do with this. Let me go to ISP1 and here I'm not going to do anything deliberately. I just want to go to Rod and Filters and at the Rod and Filter that is named, for example, Remove Community here or remove by community is a better name remove by community I'm not selecting any prefix what I am doing is to match by BGP community if I go to BGP tab and select BGP communities here I can go here and select to find BGP community 1212 if there is a prefix with this community I can go and for example discard it or I can go and accept it but set a distance of for example 255 or set a scope, set an exile, set a writing mark or do whatever I want this is what I can do easily here for example what I am going to do is let me select one of these this is very hard to select one of these and I guess I want to set the distance to, for example, 220. Let me see that. Click on Apply. And I'm not going to select any BGP action. What I want to do is just to set the distance for this route. And click on OK. Now, where should I um, add this? Maybe the input is a better idea, for example, on this neighbor, on route R4 or rather three or both of those so let's go to BGP peers and add this to router 3 and router 4 as input filter so as a route comes in I'm going to select this route and add a distance for that the distance is going to change to 220 here as input filter so I click on OK now if I go to IP routes I can see this if I go to IP routes now where is the uh, I cannot see that here where is it that's it you can see that it has a distance of 220 as it comes in and again I have this here it has a distance of 220 now I can select by community and change it change whatever I want and whatever change I want to do it is very easy to do on this route because it is easy to select by community now as you saw we have two other well-known BGP communities one of them was no advertise and one of them was local AS so I'm not going to give you an example of them because they are so easy and you can configure your network and practice them for yourself no advertise means do not advertise this to any other repair for example if I send a prefix to router 2 with a no advertise community set on that prefix router 2 will not export will not actually send or advertise that prefix to any other neighbor any other peer for example if router 4 is router 2's peer it will not receive the route from router 2 uh, it doesn't matter if it is an external or internal BGP peer it is not just going to receive that um, prefix and what local ES means actually its name is a little uh, confusing suppose that you have confederation sets in your uh, set in your network suppose that router 1 and router 2 are under the same confederation whatever prefix that is marked with local AS it is not going to get out of this confederation so you may say that man this is local AS not local confederation what Cisco calls this is no export sub confederation so that's a better name for this but local AS is the standard name so you need to translate it in your mind to no export out of this confederation so these are the BGP communities and I'm not going to talk about path selection uh, and communities more than this. 
So I'm going to talk about some minor configuration of BGP in next section and after that we should go and finish this BGP discussion.